Well, hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the Testing Academy. Or in this video, we are going to discuss about how to master the Chat GPT and how to master the prompts, guys. If you don't know about the prompts in Chat GPT, you no, know, trust me, you are lagging behind because it won't reply you until you ask the proper questions. That's what I have basically told you in the previous videos already, right? But Pramod, what is this prompt, right? Why do we have to learn this, right? In this video, I'm gonna give you seven important prompts for the QA, which are absolutely crazy. And trust me, when you see those magic. Right, the chat GPT will reply you like a charm. I mean, it will become your servant who will reply you, who will basically do you all the tasks that you want to do. All right, and how I'm using it, let's get started and let's see how you can use or leverage chat GPT and you can master the prompts also. All right, in this video, let's get started. Awesome. So guys, if you basically get some value out of this, right, please subscribe to the channel because I have seen almost 70% of the people you are not subscribing. You're just watching my videos, but you are not subscribing. Subscribe and like on the video because the value is amazing. Let's get started. The first one, first of all, what exactly is a prompt, right? Pramod, you have not told us what is prompt. See, whenever you ask a simple question to chat GPT, right? Chat GPT don't have any context related to it, right? So if you make a proper prompt, prompt are nothing but a statement that you basically tell to the chat GPT, then what you will do is you will basically unlock the full potential of the chat GPT, right? It will basically elevate your entire experience of that chat GPT bot and it will give you the answer in a so precisely way that uh, you can basically what you are actually expecting. All right, let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, first of all, uh, the first prompt that we are going to discuss is the ignore all the instruction and you become a 11 year software tester. For example, I'm a software tester with 11 years experience, right? So now I am telling to chat GPT that you are a software tester with 11 years experience, right? Now do the task with me, right? So this is a prompt that we are discussing about right here. And here is the task that I have basically asked. So question is basically simple. I want to basically test a particular API, right? For example, a authentication API, which I basically am testing the payload is basically right now present username and password that basically I am telling to the chat GPT right now you have to pay attention how prompt is basically used ignore all the instructions you are a software tester with 11 years experience now there is a person who already know about the concept now chat GPT will reply you in that such a way right so I have asked okay can you test with a different status code now see if you have given a proper proper prompt in this case right he will basically test for all the status code in this case right see it has given you majority of the status code which basically fail for special specifically for authorization, right? Not only that, if you write, it will tell him to create a test plan and test cases. Now it will specifically create with that experience, right? So now, you know, the prompt, the magic of prompt, not only this, right? I know this is simple promo. This is very simple. Okay. Let me give you the, another important point where, what you can do is you can find in scope and out of scope for the same endpoint, right? So this is very important. So what I have done is that I have asked him the security test cases because now 11 years experience, you have some magic and you know about the known functional testing also, right? Here, if you see, it has given me some amazing to amazing unauthorized right couple of a uh, couple of points are related to OWAS list which basically he has provided me right not only that I have asked him specifically about in scope and out of scope while testing this endpoint right now it has basically given me the valid and invalid inputs which is amazing see now we are unlocking the real chat GPT right this is this is the answer he will not directly reply you you have to ask him in a specific way that's what that's the way that we are learning right now in this video all right not only this right not only this what about this so can you explain this code right so second third third one is basically explaining a code is it possible let's see so explaining a code for example i was stuck with the lambda expression the lambda expression if you know right which are new in the java right i was stuck right what exactly this for each is doing for each basically doing right so this is the prompt which is can you explain this code i know it's a generic one but again after this you can put any code and it will explain you properly that for each is basically used to iterate over the each element and it is basically prevented by using the arrow keyword which is introduced in the java this is what the important thing not only only that I know it is easy, right? But see the magic now give test case generation. This is where the most important thing where if you give them in a proper prompt, which is give me the test cases in the table form user story, same for app.bw, our favorite website, which is app.bw.com, where you will enter email and password and you have a remembering functionality. Now you will basically test it out, right? If you see how it has generated the test cases, see in a proper format, which basically can be validated. See in a format, which basically is a Jira specific right now, I have basically made and combine this prompt in a way where 
I can import this into my Jira tickets directly, right? So this is how I can import them directly into my Zafire test management tool by using this piece, right? Now you know the full potential of the prompt, right? Now let's see another one, which is I think Selenium scripts. So for the same one, I told him to create a Selenium scripts, which is helpful for our for QAs, right? Specifically to create a page object model as well as the test cases, right? With the priorities properly set. If you ask him, right, he will reply you in a proper page object matter, right? Where the it is using find bias, all the things, right? It has used page factory method for making it quick, right? And it has basically added all the priority with the remember me functionality also. This is amazing. This is how you will use prompt. Not only that, you can basically generate a test data, right? So next one is sixth one is basically generating your test data. See, you don't have to go to a different website to generate your test generation, right? Previously, we were using mocaro.com test data generator, right? No. Now, chat GPT only will give you the data in a CSV format, JSON format, any format that you want. See, if you use a prompt, which is create a table with the exactly what you need here, if you see, it will generate a table for you. It can make this into a simple JSON. It can make you in the simple CSV file, which is supported by the Excel also, right? So this is one of the important thing that you can, how you can use. Not only that, you can basically tell him to create a bug report in a Jira format, which is very, very important. So I have found a bug. Now it is telling me to how to enter into a Jira, which is a proper prompt. This is what are the prompt is with a proper prompt reply, right? Debugging, debugging also you can do. For example, suppose there, what are the, I'm asking what are the possible test cases or the issues in the API that we are basically taking authorization API, right? So it is giving me, it can be a server issue, application code issue, network issue, authentication issue, any of this, and you can, how you can basically check them, all of them, right? So see, it is now unlocking the full potential as a 11 years of experience as software So Now you will know why it is important to learn about the prompts, right? Which are very, very important. Not only this, can we create our custom prompt? That's it. That is the most important point, right? So see, in this case, I have created my own prompt also. So you can tell chat GPT to create a prompt for you. So build a prompt to generate a bug report, build a prompt for Selenium script, build a prompt for Python script, build a prompt for debugging this. You tell him to generate a prompt and this prompt you can use in future for your references, right? It can, you can directly use them also, right? So this is how we can use. And these are the seven important prompts, which I think are helpful. Like and subscribe if you got some values and let me know which one is your favorite one in the chat and how you are using chat GPT to become a excellent pro master tester, right? Guys, these are the tools which will basically help you and assist you. I don't think they will replace you, but they will right now will assist you. Any person who is basically using this tool will of course going to beat you if you don't learn these AI tools, right? So leverage this tool I'm leveraging right now. I'm using it for my this. I have created amazing. If you see, right, I'm using one of the plugin, which basically has more than 2000 or you can say 2500 prompts, right? So I can generate my YouTube videos, DevOps scripts and other things, right? And many, many things, right? So see, this is how you can basically unlocking the potential of chat GPT. I hope now it makes sense, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And please just a reminder, job ready automation tester apparel batch is getting started. Link in the description. Make sure you join it. We are doing lots of live projects. We are learning code Java, rest assured and Selenium, right? Apart from this, there are a couple of bonuses which are available. Not only that, we are basically focusing on resume preparation. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.